What's good? It's your boy Low, and I'm back with another video. Last night, I had the pleasure of watching the NCAA football championship game where Alabama played Georgia, and it was an incredible game. I couldn't help but jot a few things down that I wanted to share with you today. Number one was uh, stay prepared because I noticed that opportunities often present themselves in a state of a crisis. Alabama's starting quarterback was trying to get the offense going. He was trying to do everything he could. He had done the same things he had done all year to get them in a state of being number one. But last night, the opponent, the Georgia Bulldogs, just had his number. And what I loved about Coach Saban was he did something very unorthodox. He gave a freshman an opportunity. Now, the freshman didn't think probably he would be the one to go in the game. He probably thought if they were blowing out the opponent, he may get a few snaps in the end. But to have everything on his shoulders, he probably didn't go into that moment thinking that was his time. But what I loved about it was that he was prepared. He was prepared. He didn't need to go back to the practice field. He didn't need to go back to the playroom. He couldn't do any of that because it was either now or never. And a lot of times opportunities present us with a now or never scenario. Another thing that I learned was that in his triumph was a moment of humility for the senior or starting quarterback. The quarterback was the first one to cheer and to embrace the freshman when he came off the field. You got to know that somebody else's moment, someone else's success does not uh, deflate your own. He had gotten them all the way to being number one. He had gotten them all the way to the championship. And sometimes being a champion or being a leader or being a successful person means knowing when it's your time to shine and when you need to let someone else step in and close the deal. Now, in that same scenario of triumph and humility, there was also some moments that were not so glamorous. Uh, number 48 for Alabama made a bonehead mistake. And in his bonehead mistake, he came back to the sidelines and one of the defensive coaches doing what coaches do, chewed into him a bit. Now, it was a lot riding on the game. Frustrations were high. And in this moment, number 48 almost made a grand mistake, not just to the game, but to his future. It looked and appeared that he was going to grab his coach. But when his friends and true teammates recognized his intentions, they aggressively snatched him back and told him, shake it off, get your head back in the game. And we all need those type of teammates surrounding us on our journey to success. We need people who will aggressively tell you, don't allow this temporary setback to ruin your future opportunities and success. Now, number 48 did shake it off, and he went on to make one of the key plays that allowed Alabama to go on to win the championship. So in these games we play of life and just opportunities and success, take, I guess you would say, careful consideration of these three tips, because I promise you, you'll see them over and over. Surround yourself with people who care about your future as much as you do. You know, always be prepared to see the opportunities, even in a state of crisis, and always be open to celebrate someone else's success because you never know how that success and that celebration could set you up for your next immediate opportunity. It's your boy Lo. I thank you for watching, and until next time, Keep creating and being all you can be.